Ramanja sits on uh, 39 square kilometers and uh, is divided into 14 zones with uh, 44 villages. Uh, this uh, small administrative unit subscribes to the government policy of uh, allowing refugees to enter into the country. Office of the Prime Minister is in charge of the overall management of the refugee settlement. It also supervises uh, and monitors, coordinates other activities, including all the partners where ADRA also is part of them. ADRA in full is Adventist Development and Relief Agency. It's an organization that was founded by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Uh, in Uganda, we have existed for 31 years, and we started this project in July 2018. And uh, the major component or target we are looking at is food distribution, uh, both in kind but also in cash. Our role is the overall coordination for this uh, general food assistance program, where we mobilize people, whoever is within the records of UNHCR and OPM, and make sure that the refugees receive their entitlements per month uh, in terms of their food needs. Adra, inatupokea mzuri. Tunafurai vima natupokea, anatupatia chakula, kwa wakati yetu, masiku wabapiti shake. Kana tuambia le 5 ni le 5. Hii chakula hiko na wasaidia wakimbizi sana. Kwa sababu pako wakimbizi ambao hawajui lima. Lakini kutokea hii chakula, wanapata njisi ya kulea family zao. Na wengine leo unakuta OPM haijawapatia mashamba. Ni kupitia chakula ndo wanakulisha watoto zao, wanakulisha family zao na maisha nazidi kusogea mbele kama kawaida. WFP's objective in food assistance to refugees falls under strategic outcome one, which is to offer food and nutrition to uh, refugees in times of crisis. We do this in two ways. One is through in-kind food, and then the second one is through cash-based transfers, which you give uh, to refugees on a monthly basis. Enjo ilikuwa komoko wa ilifumbili na kumina ine, na ilifumbili kumina tano hivu, enjo walikia enjo WFP, na Samaritan and Mishpasi wakatuandika kwa pesa. E, wakati wakatuandika kwa pesa, e, hiyo pesa yanatusaidia kwa watu ambao wanafanya business. E, sisi kwa ni kongo tukwa tunazoya kuchuruza, e, na wambawa wanazoya kuchuruza wakati tuna, tunapukia hiyo pesa, Tunatu tunanulia watu ambao wanachuruza na wanapata hati nasi tunakula chakula mbayo inatufuraisha na inatusaidia sana. Nyingine hiyo pesa inatusaidia hata kutusaidia ni mwalimu wakati toto wanafukuza kumasomo. E, na tunakula kwa kidogo, nyingine inatusaidia kusaidia kulipa watoto kumasomo. So we do cash transfers on behalf uh, of WFP uh, where they are also contracting post bank as the agent uh, that gives out the money. We have four FDPs where this food is distributed from in the settlement and uh, in these FDPs we have also made sure we allocate land but also ADRA has gone ahead to ensure that they put up gardens, backyard gardens in these areas and showcase the refugees who got access food that they can also do this backyard gardening at their homes. The gardens are, at the FDPs are just demonstration gardens. They're just used as learning centers. People seek knowledge from here, then uh, they can go and practice whatever is in here. Basically, we saw that uh, general food assistance entailed cereals, where we are giving people rice, maize, cooking oil, salt, sugar. So we found out that uh, these people were missing out a given section as far as nutrition is concerned. So we chose to complement or supplement the food given to them uh, with uh, the vegetables. So we had to come up with a backyard gardening. Backyard garden, information, now some of them have grown these vegetables to the level that they even sell them out for their own income. Because having planted the vegetables after harvest, some sales are registered and that this would supplement income that they are given during the cash distribution. We have been doing this activity in a community like Mahega 
where we have sensitized and encouraged people to participate actively in growing vegetables. And uh, as I speak of now, we have some vegetable gardens there. And uh, some farmers have success stories whereby they have had their nutritional status improved. Refugees in Uganda, on average, uh, over 64% are either children or women. And so we have gender and protection concerns there. We do a lot of gender mainstreaming and um, protection mainstreaming because we serve different categories of people, people with special needs, people who, who are already traumatized, people who have faced a lot of war where they are coming from. Some have lost their families. Well, that's why we call them persons of concern because they have gone through so many experiences. Thank okay. you. We do not work alone as Adra, we work with the community structures, those are the refugee leaders. So we do also make sure we coordinate with the protection partners who are led by UNHCR and Office of the Prime Minister. Make sure that as they receive the food, their rights are not violated at the same time. Our communities are being sensitized time and again because it is a continuous process on domestic violence, issues of peaceful coexistence between the host and the, and the refugees. So that once there is peace, then we expect to have development in our area. The development of markets in Ramanja is connected to the refugee, comprehensive refugee response framework in a number of ways. The, this um, response framework helps also the local government uh, to expand its revenue base, but also at the same time providing services and bringing them closer to the refugees. Over three groups have been benefited. Uh, some have got uh, livestock, others have got other, other commodities and uh, through this they have been able to provide uh, financial literacy to the community, to the refugees, but also to the nationals. But also we have seen an increased attitude towards saving due to these interventions uh, by ADRA uh, besides the educating them on how to do it. We have uh, trainers that are meeting them on a regular basis and they are taken through a series of lessons that help them to know how best they can use the resources. They learn how to save, they learn how to do business as well. Cash distribution has created the emergence of markets and there are mushrooming markets around the distribution ponds for, the, for food and cash. And so we are saying, how can we make sure that these markets actually serve the purpose uh, and bring in the food that the people need. And we are doing it through support to production and productivity, both in the host community and in the refugee settlement. We support from ADRA. It will link our farmers to service providers who will provide good quality seeds, in other words, agriculture inputs, so that production increases. So we have worked with the Office of the Prime Minister to support the market development. The land has been surveyed around the distribution points and ADRA, with support from WFP, uh, is working to make sure that the markets are constructed around these areas. 
And once that transaction is taking place within a gazetted place, then the government also, as the town council, we shall get revenue through farmers paying taxes. Thus, it will be a comprehensive development for both the host and the refugees within Koma Katalieva town council. Looking at the environmental aspect that Adras touched on, uh, they have about over 1,000 tree seedlings uh, of trees to the refugees to plant in the community. They have been part of the, uh, of the general uh, environmental intervention uh, approach we held this year, where we had a campaign of uh, planting trees. The trees that they were providing to the refugees are not only good for the environment, but also a source of income where they also provided fruit trees. Once the fruit trees are ready for harvest, the proponent, the refugees for that matter, can sell some of their produce and have an additional income in their pockets, which means there is access on money that can buy medicines, can buy basic materials for the needs of the household, and also for educational materials as well. For that alone, that provided a big boost for the refugees. As a matter of fact, 70,000 people coming in an area means they put a lot of pressure on this environment. Our assessment showed that over 98% of the beneficiaries use wood as a source of cooking energy. And so ADRA is now promoting uh, use of energy saving stoves to be able to reduce on, on the effects on the environment. So I think it's prudent for us enough to look at the interventions holistically. We need to start to think about reforestation at all levels. Two, we need to also think about diversifying or providing alternative sources of fuel. For example, we can explore briquettes where refugees can be trained how to provide briquettes, but also train the refugees to show the seriousness that we are really intervening in this environmental aspect. ADRA has been one of the partners in Ramwanja that is well coordinated with other staff and other partners in those sectors that it's operating in and we hope they continue in that direction. Day by day, the refugee numbers are growing, meaning there's more pressure on land. The refugee population grows, but the acreage of land don't increase. So there's a disbalance there, there's no balance. That means we have to explore other livelihood alternatives to the refugees, where they can supplement more on their food or household income at home. So there has to be entrepreneurial training, there has to be marketing training, similarly a financial training, which means what UNHCR is lacking, having a gap identified of, then ADRA comes and provides some sort of sufficiency and sustainability for the refugees for that matter. And our focus is on the well-being of the people. We use what we call the triangle of well-being, uh, which means that for a person to be complete, they need to have health, education, and livelihoods. And particularly in Ruamwanja, where we are working, our focus is on livelihoods. If people's livelihoods are taken care of, even their health will be taken care of. From their livelihood uh, enhancement, they will be able to take their children to school, they can access education. So these three things combine to make the person feel like they are complete in their own being, livelihoods, health and education.